Almost any human disease has a genetic component. We first find the variants which are associated with the disease. And then what we need is to find which genes are perturbed by these variants. Such knowledge may help us to find novel strategies for disease prevention and therapy. And for some diseases, knowledge of mutations allows for better diagnostics and risk prediction. So we will first teach you about the anatomy of the uh, human genome. We will tell you about the types of genes, their organization, the gene switches that turn them on and off. We will also consider about the mutational processes that generate genetic variants, including the ones that are causing disease. The question is, how do we identify these causative variants? We find these variants in specific families or cohorts. However, these are representatives of bigger populations. I'm going to tell you about the rules which govern genetic diversity of populations. Genetically, human diseases can be divided into Mendelian and complex ones, and the approaches to find the genes underlying these diseases are quite different. First, I'm going to tell you how to find genes for Mendelian disorders. And then we will tell you how to find causative variants for complex diseases. So we will then discuss the strategies that can be used to identify the genes affected by these mutations and the pathways, the downstream pathways that are perturbed and leading to disease. We will also consider how this new source of information can benefit the patients. We will do this by giving clinical examples of Mendelian disorders. Finally, I will also indicate why genetic testing for multifactorial diseases is not yet used in the clinic. In this course, from disease to genes and back, we are going to tell you how genetics is used to study the biology of human diseases.